Hey guys, this is Mac Kids on One. Today, I'm going to be showing you about Activity Monitor on your Mac and how to use it. Because some of you don't know the full features of it, some of you don't even know it's there, and some of you are kind of afraid of it. So I'm just going to be showing it to you along with several processes you might find with it that will be interesting to you. So first of all, I'll show you how to get there. You open a new Finder window, and then in the Go menu, you say Utilities. Then from here, and it's pretty simple, you just open Activity Monitor. So here's the here's the main activity monitor window, and as you can see right here, um, there will be the, these tabs at the top that are pretty confusing at first. Like the process ID is um I'll explain all these things to you in a second. And um so basically processes on your Mac are different programs obviously that run in the background. They can be executables, etc. Like process ID, process name, user, CPU, um, threads real memory, virtual memory, and the type or kind. So I'm just going to be showing you um, right here real memory is the amount of actual RAM it's taking up and virtual memory is the amount of of your disk it's using to uses RAM. So as you can see the kernel task is actually the main operating system. It, it is taking up a lot of RAM and a lot of virtual memory and of course it's for my Intel chip. Um, so right here, right here's another one, LaunchD. LaunchD launches every process that ever gets run, and if LaunchD is killed, which you actually can kill with a password, then no applications will open from then on, and you have to reboot your computer. And you can't just reboot by pressing restart, because there's another program that reboots your computer, which won't be able to run. Um, another one is Syslog, obviously logs everything that happens pretty much. Um... So there are a few other ones like login window is the login window and um and, and your desktop like this bar at the top and stuff. So if you kill this, you won't be logged in anymore. It'll log you out. Um, uh, right here is um another launch D running is your user. You see a launch D runs as every single user. So that one you do have permissions to kill. Spotlight is actually the spotlight up here. Okay, so yeah, Apple VNC servers if you have VNC enabled. And doc is your doc. There's a few others, but I won't go into those. So right here, the process name is just the process name. The process ID is the ID, the number, unique ID that no other process will have of your process. So every process has a unique process ID. And when a process is start, it goes right in order. So the first process that's ever run is kernel task, and that's always zero. Then it goes on from there. And you'll notice that there's sometimes a big jump because there were things inside of here that died and stuff like that. So my highest process right now is Activity Monitor. And th this one keeps on running again and again, but that's different. So yeah. So um, Threads is how many different um, threads are open. I won't go into detail with that. The user is the user process is running in. Because a process can run as any user, and depending on that user, makes the permissions of that process different, and the abilities of what that process can do different. So processes running as root are normally system processes. There are also other users that are specifically made for demons and other types of things. www is the um, w. Uh, it's the HTTP server. Here's the Windows server just for um, uh, windowing tasks. Um, so that that's activity monitor so far if you if you select a process like um, I'll just select a good one that I don't really care about like bash and then you say quit process you can say force quit to do it um, and under the hood it really forces it it's normally in terminal will be a kill dash nine quit which just sends it the interrupt process or cancel to cancel um, inspect just shows you information about this process. So if you say memory statistics and statistics, it shows you all the open ports. And um, that's interesting. The faults, the Unix system calls. That is cool because you can check how many system calls it's done. And under open files and ports, you can see all the files that the program is reading. So you can go through and check every program that's reading Etsy password. Oh, look, this this program I've never installed called uh, Super Cool Virus is reading Etsy password. I'm going to kill it. Um, also, sample will just show you um, kind of a list of um, things that it's it's that the program's calling. Um, so, and it's like the stack. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, this is the parent process. The parent process shows you um, the process that started it, and that's login. The process that started that is dashboard client. Inside of that is doc. Inside of that is launch D. Inside of that is the first launch D, and inside of that is kernel. 
and then Colonel, you know, there's no pa parent for Colonel. Colonel starts everything. So that's that's the process system and how parents work. Other processes start more processes. Um, also, you can say the CPU usage um, down here, and the CPU usage is the total usage of all your CPU units. Um, um, let's see, central processing units, and my 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 um processor is um due core, so it has two CPUs right here working off. And um, so you can see 75 processes, and it's this is the use, um, etc. So here's the memory and uh, statistics and data. Okay, so that's just this. Disk activity is how much disk is being written in read. Data read isn't as much as data written because right now I'm recording this, and as we speak, data is being written to my disk. And if I say I.O., less stuff is being written. But this is, yeah. So disk... Um, disk usage is just like a overall thing. I can select any disk. And under network, this is my network usage. I've been sending a lot more data than I've been receiving. But right now, of course, I'm receiving a lot of data because our um because of mouse movements, keyboard presses, um, because I'm on a screen sharing. Of course, I'm sending a lot more data because I'm sending in my screen every two seconds. But I am, in fact, screen sharing. So that's why so much memory is being used. And if I move my mouse around, drag this window around, since I'm on a screen sharing, it really peaks there. Yeah. So that's that. Um, under show, I can select all processes in a hierarchy of things that started other things. So launch D started this. HTTPD started this. Launch D started this. Doc started this. That's pretty cool. My process is only the process is running as your user. But most of them are. Um, administrator processes are only root processes. Other user processes, um, activity, active processes. These are all the processes that are actually doing something. Um, and windowed processes, which are the processes that will show up when you press Alt Tab. I have iChat, ScreenFlow, Finder, and Activity Monitor. Um, okay, so and then you can also do a filter. So if I say I want to search out every bash. Sorry, I just stopped. type poop there. Um, <laughs> okay, I can also click this this little button to hide the menu bar, but that's old school. So this is an overall view of Activity Monitor. Also, if you go into, um, there is no preferences, but you can go into About just to see the copyrights. Okay, um, you can also uh, just do another, like this, this menu bar. Uh, you can set the update frequency to update more often. So this way under view of update frequency, I can make it update really often and less often. I'm going to make it normal. Um, and then to the dock icon, I can make it sh show the application icon. I can make it show the CPU usage. How cool is that? I think that's pretty cool. I think they worked hard on that. And I can make it just show the memory usage. I think that's a nice feature. Under columns, I can select exactly what it shows me. Private memory, shared memory, message sent, messages received. I don't really want to go through that. And then I can say, do all the filter stuff. Um, um, so that, and I can actually print this, but I'm not going to do that. So that's activity monitor for you. Um, a very in-depth discussion of activity monitor. So, um, thank you for watching Mac Kids in One. Please subscribe to our videos. It really helps us, help us, um, uh, so just subscribe and help us help you. So, um, thanks for watching Mac Kids in One, and goodbye.